Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, I do Twitch streaming content creation advice. I don't want to make the intro for this video too long because this will be a very, very quick video. I'm going to show you how to go and add the bouncy text presets to your TikTok captions or your video captions in Premiere Pro. In case you didn't know, you can actually add auto captions in Premiere Pro. And I have a separate YouTube video already up on how to do that. So you can click here or down below to get to that video. But today's video is going to show you how to actually add presets to those captions so you can get the jumpy animations because in the old captions you could not do that so i am just here in premiere pro and i'm going to go and make a new sequence just to go make a test video and i'm gonna drag this test clip that i literally just filmed onto my premiere pro timeline to go and add our auto captions again we're gonna over here click this arrow and we're gonna go to where it says text and then we are going to create captions from transcript and then we can go over the caption preset again I'm gonna do this very quickly because I go over how to add this in another YouTube video. All right, so I have made the adjustments to my captions and as you can see, they're down below right here. And if I play it, there's no really like bounce animation going on. The trick is we're gonna go and highlight all of the text. Now in the top bar here, we're gonna click graphics and titles. And then we are going to click upgrade caption to graphic. As you notice, the captions turn from the orange captions to the pink graphics. And then we can do any of the graphic edits that we would typically do for a graphic in Premiere Pro now on these auto-generated captions. I personally like doing a little bounce animation and the way I do that, 90% sure I also have a YouTube video on how to do this. We only need to do it for one text and then we can copy and paste to everything else. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. Again, when you press the arrow keys, you can move forward one frame if you press the back arrow you can move backwards one frame i'm gonna move forward one frame and then i'm going to make a keyframe for the scale which is how big or small it is and as you can see here the keyframe appeared above i'm gonna hit the arrow button once so now i am on frame two and i'm going to make the scale 103 and then i'm gonna click the arrow one more time and i'm gonna make the scale 100 and then i'm gonna go all the way back to the first frame and i'm gonna make the scale zero now what you should get is a little bounce right here and just to give you some more information the middle frame which is the one we made 103 it's gonna go from scale 100 a little bit bigger to scale 103 and back down to scale 100. the bigger we make this middle number the larger the bounce effect is so if i make this 150 for some god-awful reason then if i click play you can kind of see how it's like oh it bounced so large it got cropped off okay let me make it a little bit more realistic Let's do like 120. You can see how it's like bouncing down here. Let me do like 110. You see how it bounces down like that? How it has a bigger bounce effect. So I like a small little bounce effect, so I'll only use um, 103. So we get that small little bounce. Now, in order to copy and paste to the rest of our captions, we're gonna right click the text. Also, if you right click onto the little effect square right here, it gives you this option instead. So if you find, hey, my right click is not pulling up the little like, drop down that you have don't click on the fx click in the empty space here we're gonna hit copy then highlight all of the other captions and then right click and then paste attributes and you want to make sure vector motion is selected hit okay and now all of these fx will turn green and if i hit space now you see we have those captions so you're welcome for saving you eons of time in terms of editing your youtube videos tiktok videos and etc so if i did save you time with this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in another one of my videos peace